Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here with episode 7 already of our gameplay series in No Man's Land. So if this is what you are looking for, go ahead and stay tuned. Alright folks, before we dive in, so um, a couple things I... I, w I found out for us and uh, so first off as far as uh, mods go I got rid of that stupid broom mod that didn't work for us so I got rid of that um, I did some research on what the pig food would cost when you buy it in bulk from the store um, so I'll share kind of those results and actually I just looked at everything you could buy from the store in bulk and looked at all the prices um, so we'll look at that in a second a couple of mods I added and these will all be in the description I added the manure and TMR pallets which can be bought in the store in the form of a pallet so you can buy manure that way or TMR I added those because I normally have those in-game anyways, and I'm surprised I didn't have them before. But those are going to be in there um, as well. And then I also added a mod that I really like. I added the Flegel Large Capacity Shovel. So uh, it's larger capacity shovels or different capacity shovels for a front loader. But it also has built in these brooms you can attach to the front of your front loader and sweep the area. So kind of like the broom we tried to use by hand, now we should be able to do it with a... Um, with the front loader so i'm very excited to use that uh, we'll probably end up buying one of those it's not like they'd be too expensive in store um, i also added the manure trading system and the slurry trading system so that way if we want to uh, if we end up building a town like we talked about in the previous episode we can do that and add like one of those where you can sell uh, manure or slurry so we might do something like that um, just so we have that available for us in case we don't want to use manure or we don't want to use slurry to fertilize the fields. I think we're going to end up doing that, uh, fertilizing fields with at least one of them, if not both. Um, but I want an option if we have a lot of extra or something like that. Um, and so I think that's a good option for us. Um, also a side note, um, I am trying another setting on my mic to see if this fixes the problem that I had still in the last video where if I talk really quietly or I get focused on doing something, you guys have no idea what I'm saying and it just kind of cuts in and out and doesn't sound great. Uh, so I'm going to try this. Um, I turned the noise gate off on my mic um, so you might hear a little bit more background noise uh, than usual but I'll listen to it and again I'm recording uh, just to see how it sounds and if I don't like it I might just go back to what I had before and just try to talk louder. So um, okay so that's what we have going on. Um, so we'll go over what I found out about pig food in a second. Um, First off, I want to say thank you guys for, for joining me today here on Episode 7. If you've been watching the series since Episode 1, I thank you. And if you haven't, I would recommend go checking it out from Episode 1. Work your way up to here because uh, we pretty packed episodes, actually. We get a lot done. Um, and if you're new to the channel, I am a full-time police officer. That's why my uh, channel name is Farmer Cop. So I do work full-time as a police officer uh, in a city of about 35,000 people. Um, in the United States, so I, I enjoy my job quite a bit, but I also love playing this game, and I have, this is basically my, one of my hobbies right here, is just playing this game, so, and I'm pretty new to YouTube, so as you can see, I don't have very many subscribers, but actually, I will stay on that, the last time I recorded, which was yesterday, I had 43 subscribers, and that was when I was recording episode 6, and this is episode 7, which won't come out until the 10th, of April, and I'm sure we'll have more subscribers by then. But as I'm recording this, we have up to we're up to 46 subscribers. So thank you for those three new people that joined the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm sure more will join, and I really appreciate that as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If you're enjoying any of the content on here, it really helps me out, especially for me being such a new channel and such a small channel. It really helps out if you hit that subscribe button. Right now, my goal is to get to a hundred subscribers, and then we'll see where we can go from there. Um, and also, too, if you enjoy the video, it also helps out quite a bit if you comment and like and kind of engage. Uh, that's something YouTube looks for, so it kind of helps me out if you guys are engaging. If there's something you want to see in my episodes or and you want me to make a separate video or something about something you want to know how to do in the game, uh, let me know. I'll go ahead and get that done. I know a lot of how-to videos are already out there. Uh, I've just been kind of going through and making kind of my own uh, brand, if you will, the Farmer Cop version of these tutorials where I kind of go over it in my style. Um, that way people can kind of watch it in whatever style they prefer. Uh, but if you haven't checked out Mr. Sealy P or uh, DJ Goham Gaming, those are two channels that I watch quite often. Um, they're some of my favorites to watch, and they have really good guides and uh, how-to videos up as well, and really good gameplay series as well. So um, those are also great channels to check out. But uh, continuing on, we're going to talk about the pig food, but let's give an update here on the farm. So if we go into the map, and I haven't done anything, I literally just loaded up the game. So if we go in here... Okay, so these guys have been harvested. I believe the harvester's sitting over here, if I remember correctly. So we're going to move him over here to start harvesting that, and this should be finishing up. And yes, we have pigs now. Uh, if you watched the last episode, that was kind of a big deal for us. And if you look at the time up there, we're kind of halfway through. The last episode, we, it was like literally five hours in-game, so it wasn't very, it didn't seem very long, but we had a lot going on. 
Um, so I recorded most of that five hours in game. So here we're going to try to um, finish out today. We might even jump in tomorrow. We'll just kind of go until I feel like the episode's getting a little long and then we'll stop. But uh, let's go ahead and find our combine and get him working. And also a side note, uh, as far as police work at my job goes, we're switching to 12 hour shifts. I mentioned this in my Sandy Bay 19 uh, series, but we're going to 12 hour shifts um, starting April 13th. So um, I don't think it'll affect my recording. It might at first because I might have to work like nine days in a row for the transition or eight days in a row, but we'll see. Um, but if I don't have to work like that for the trans, oh, he has a little bit left, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and finish that up. Um, but uh, so if I, if, I, if I have issues with the transition where I have to work a lot, um, I'm, I think I should still be able to keep up with uh, posting videos and everything, but it'll be a little bit more difficult. But I'm not too worried about getting that done. So I think we can do that. Um, so after we get this guy harvested, actually, we're going to go talk, since we're going to talk about pig food, we'll talk about pig food and talk about how we're going to get it, because I think we're going to buy it for now. Uh, once our farm gets bigger, we might start making our own. But a lot of times, the crops themselves are worth more if you sell them versus feeding them to your pigs. Um, so yeah, and I looked at some stuff, uh, three different ways we can buy pig food um, at the store. Um, so we'll go over those and which one's least expensive and we'll go over some of the other things I found out too. Um, but yeah, let's get this guy unloaded here and the pigs have water. So they're already producing slurry and they have straw, uh, which is great. We're using the milling machine to pick up the straw. And if you haven't ever seen that mod, uh, download it. You need it. That mod is amazing. I love the milling machine mod. Uh, it just essentially works as like a loading wagon with any trailer. So uh, it's very helpful. It can unload silos. Actually, I wonder. Can the milling machine get the manure out of there? We will have to try that. I'm really curious. I don't know if it will or not. I know it can pick a lot of stuff up, but uh, I'm not sure if it would do manure or not. My guess, honestly, would be that it would, but uh, we'll have to test that. You can ignore that little divot there that I made when I was landscaping. I apologize. And we'll want to check out the grass, too. I think the grass is going to be probably ready to harvest today as well. Um, so we get this guy going. I want to make sure he's on straw swath mode because we really want to get the straw off the field It should be that's where he was last time, but uh, yep perfect. Okay, we'll hop out of him So yeah, let's go actually we'll just go to the store. We're gonna talk about pig feed. So if you're at the store in this game um, Actually, you know what? I think just for For the ease of it. We'll drive over to the store uh, So I'll go over to the store and then I'll be back with you when I get there because I think it'll be easier to explain there all right, so here we are at the store. So that um, black uh, silo looking thing, silo master, I guess, um, that thing is kind of a buy uh, point for almost any kind of thing you can buy in the game, almost anything except for liquids. It doesn't do liquids, but it does uh, virtually everything else. I think it does do everything else, uh, quite honestly. Um, but that's something that Alien Jim modded into this map, which I think is fantastic. So what I did on a separate save is I bought things out of this um, I bought everything you can buy out of this and I wrote down the prices and got it down so I have uh, prices per 1,000 liters that you're buying it and that's the same kind of price system if you're going into the store here to sell um, that's the price per thousand liters you're gonna get so um, that's what you have going on in here um, but yeah you can sell TMR you can sell chaff here I always forget that alien Jim always has a lot of cool things you can sell um, in game here you can't sell i wish you could sell slurry manure here honestly but that's why you got the slurry trading system the manure trading system what is that i don't know what that is i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have no idea what that symbol is for um <laughs> uh, anyhow um you actually can't it's not like it's something you could sell diesel plus i don't know what that is either um i think i remember those symbols from playing in uh, another one alien jim's maps uh Washoe, Nevada. Oh, look, and our silo are showing how much we have in it. That's fantastic. Uh, the fix Alien Jim gave us with my last episode worked. So that's perfect. But uh, anyhow, so yeah. Um, another thing, so when buying things out of here, I wanted to see if it was the same price as, for example, you get in the store. Like maybe you're buying it at that rate or something like that. And I don't know if it's correlated or not, um, but it didn't. It wasn't the exact uh, price in the store. And it wasn't really super close for a lot of the stuff you're buying. Um, so the things you can buy in the salad are wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, seeds, TMR, so total mixed ration, uh, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, uh, solid fertilizer, manure, pig food, and lime. So pig food is kind of our big concern uh, today with feeding our pigs, but we're going to go over everything. Um, so starting with wheat, wheat you can buy in here for $674 per thousand liters, and I have this, I don't know if it changes with economy modes, but I have it on normal. Um, and then barley, 
is at 626, oats are 1064, canola is at 1206, sunflowers is 1346, soybeans 1556, corn is 760, potatoes is 344, sugar beets is 244. Uh, sugar cane is 238. Seeds are $1,800, and this is all per thousand liters. Uh, TMR and chaff are both $84. Uh, wood chips are 160. Silage is 342. Grass is 90. Hay is 112. Uh, straw is 82. F solid fertilizer is $3,200. Uh, manure is only 66. Um, pig food is $2,800, which is pricey. And lime is $450. So, um, and also, too, all this information I'm going to give you, I'm going to organize it into a Word document, and I'm going to post that on my Facebook page. And if you haven't already, go find Farmer Cop on Facebook and like it. Um, so I think I should be able to upload this in as, as a document, as a Word document on there. So that way you guys just have kind of a chart that's available to help you. And I'll have all of this information on it, including the information I'm about to give you. So bulk prices. And then also, so uh, for wheat in the store, if we go into purchase over here, um, you can buy it as a big bag. Uh, so we'll go over the big bags first, actually. So um, well, we'll just do each product separately. So we'll do wheat and uh, wheat and oats at the same time. So oats are fourteen hundred dollars for a thousand. So um, that's that that is the price per thousand liter. Same with wheat. That is the price per thousand liter. So then also in a mod that I have, which is the Pioneer Pallets mod I have over here. Um, there's the manure and TMR ones. I have oats and wheat in here. So the oats in the form of a pallet and the wheat in the form of a pallet are the same price, and it's $975 um, dollars per thousand. So it's cheaper than the big bags to get it in pallets. Um, however, if you're buying it in bulk, it's more expensive in bulk to get oats. Um, and then it's it's the so the cheapest way to get oats is going to be in this pallet form. The cheapest way to get wheat is bulk from this thing here. And the second cheapest way would be in the pallet form. Then the big bags are the most expensive for both. Uh, so moving on down to seeds, if we go over to big bags again, there's a big bag of seeds. So it's nine hundred dollars for a thousand. OK, that's given. Then if we go into pallets, it's also nine hundred dollars per one thousand. So these are the same price and these are both in game items. So that does make sense. That they're the same price. However, if you buy it in bulk from um, the sell point here, it is eighteen hundred dollars per thousand. So it's almost it's it is twice the price. So the cheapest way is to buy it from the store, uh, period. Uh, moving down to TMR, so I have TMR pallet in here. So this total mixed ration pallet is, and this again is a mod, so it is $381 per 1,000 liters, um, which is significantly more than if you buy it um, in bulk from the store, which is at $84. However, if we need to buy a TMR, we're probably going to buy it in the form of a pallet because honestly, it seems uh, way too cheap, $84 per 1,000 liters. Even if you're buying it in bulk, that just seems too cheap. Um, so moving down to um, silage hay and straw and the reason we're going over those is because you actually can buy them in here in bale so this is so the bale price for straw and hay no matter what bale style you buy either round or square is going to be 163 dollars per 1000 liters um, and that's for both straw and hay and if you buy it in bulk hay is 112 dollars so cheaper and straw is even cheaper than that at 82 dollars and i actually don't think that's a i mean that's not terrible for bulk. That's pretty cheap, though, because, I mean, if you're thinking about it, we're selling it here for more than you're going to get out of it bulk there. So uh, it should be a little bit more because you're not going to have a store that's going to buy something from you and then sell it back to you at a cheaper price. It just doesn't this doesn't make logical sense. Uh, so moving on to solid fertilizer, solid fertilizer is going to be. So if we go um, big bags here. Solid fertilizer, big bag. This is $1,920 per 1,000 liters, as it says there. And then if we go into pallets, I have a modded pallet in here, this guy, um, which is actually a good price right here. It's $1,042 per 1,000 liters. And then if you buy it in bulk, it is very, very expensive. It's $3,200 per 1,000 liters if you buy it in bulk from this. Um, so definitely the cheapest option is this mod here, and the second being the um, big bag. Okay, moving on down to manure. So manure, you can buy at $66 per 1,000 if you buy it at the bulk center here. But if you get this mod, um, the mod actually makes it um, a little bit cheaper. It makes it $48 per 1,000 liters uh, since that's super cheap. So I would probably buy it in bulk if I had the choice here just to make it a little bit more fair. Um, and then um, we'll do lime and then we'll go back up to pig food. So lime, um, in game, you can go to big bags and this is where you're gonna buy your lime right here. If you're not buying it from a lime station, I didn't include the price for a lime station here. Um, I just I just didn't do it. So um, this is just stuff you're buying at the store here in no man's land. 
Um, so this game, this this pack here is $225 per 1,000 liters, as you can see here. It's got 2,000 liters in it. Divide that by two, it's 225 per 1,000. If you look in here, I have a mod for a lime palette, which is here, which is actually more expensive than the base game uh, big bag. This is $292 per 1,000 liters. And then if you're buying it in bulk, it's $450 per 1,000 liters. So the cheapest option is to use the big bag and buy it in game, then the palette, then in bulk. So finally, pig food. So pig food in game, this is the standard way to buy it. And this is a thousand for a thousand. So it's a thousand dollars per 1000 liters, which is actually pretty pricey to be honest with you. Um, so, and then if we go in here to my, my modded pig food here, this is 1650 for 2400. This is more reasonable. And I actually don't think this is an unreasonable price uh, for pig food either. So I'd be willing to buy this pallet. This is $688 per 1000 liters. And then if you buy it in bulk at the store, it is $2,800 per 1000 liters. So it is very, very, very expensive. However, to make it more fair, and I don't, you guys may not care or not in this, but I care a little bit because I like to make it a little bit challenging. I don't want to make it too easy. For us to be able to buy this, I'm going to say that we have to buy at least six pallets just to make it. So since we're in no man's land here for a delivery truck to make it worth bringing these guys out here, we're going to say the store normally doesn't stock them and they have to deliver at least six pallets at a time. So if we're going to buy these, we have to buy them at six groups of six, which is that's a fair amount. So that's like you're looking at over ten thousand dollars there, which we can't even afford right now. Um, so that's what we're going to do for that. But I wanted to go over that. And again, I'm going to type all of that out into a nice word document. I'm going to post it on my Facebook page probably the same time this comes out. I'll get that done by um, if I remember, but I should remember. Um, so anyhow, that's all I have for that. We have a lot to get done. There's our bucket I bought. I might even end up selling it if I want one of the Flegel buckets. But uh, And actually, let's go into the store and look at those brooms. I don't know where they're going to be. I think they're going to be under miscellaneous. No. Uh, maybe under animals. Because it does say that they're specifically for clean. No, they're not in there. Um, maybe. Oh, obviously, it's under front loader attachments. I don't even know why I didn't think it was there. It's a front loader mod. So, yeah, here are these brooms. Look at these things. These things are awesome. <laughs> with this machine you can restore the initial ground state delete field so i guess all it is really is a roller uh to clean but those things are kind of nifty we may or may not use them uh because i guess i don't know if it's gonna like delete our maybe we'll try try one out and then uh we'll so we'll buy it because it's not too much main color can we switch that around yeah i mean i don't, I don't think it really matters honestly we could make it any color we wanted that looks like it's that just looks kind of pristine and clean, so we'll buy that. All right. So we'll see if that uh, ends up doing what we think it's going to do or not. Uh, if it just deletes the the ground state, which it's fine if that's what it's it's doing, but the only concern I have is I don't want it to delete our landscaping at all. Um, and that mean and, and not I guess not landscaping as much as just the painted texture. And I think when I build the town, if I do end up building it, I'm still waiting in the last episode because I'm pre-recording, obviously. So um, if you guys want a town, I think this is where it's going to go. It's this kind of set up for it. It's already up by the store. I think it would be a good spot for it. Um, and I'm not sure if it's in here or not, but Alien Jim, I believe, has fixed on at least PC where you can now cut to remove the trees if you wanted to. I don't know if I have to update the map. Yeah, I probably have to update the map. But the scary part is, too, if you update the map, I guess one of the issues you may have, uh, which, by the way, if you don't know what these signs do, go check out my map tour video about No Man's Land. Um, but I guess if you delete all the trees on the map, or I guess it might even be if you reload it with the update on there, some of the trees you cut down might come back, which could be a problem for us. So I, I took out quite a few trees, so our road might be kind of worthless if that happens. But uh uh, we'll deal with that when it comes if we do end up updating the map. Um, so um, they they said that was an issue on news or on old saves if you have uh, if you have that going on. So we'll just kind of figure out. Looks like our combine might be done with that field, which is great, and that means we can pick up. We can focus on picking up the straw, and I don't think we're gonna sell. Well, let's take a look at the silage price in here. 300. Yeah, again, we want to try to get like 400 ish out of it. So. Um, yeah, we'll kind of hope for a little bit more than that. Yeah, that guy just finished. That's perfect. Yeah, so we need to get the straw off these fields, and we need to start planting again. We need to keep our fields rolling so we can keep making money. Um, and we need to, oh, actually, shoot, we got to feed the pigs. I want the pigs to start reproducing, so we need to do that <laughs> uh, ASAP as well. We have a lot to get done. Um, so actually, I'm not going to worry about him because, I yeah, that field can't even, I don't even want to start harvesting that field over there until we can take all of it off. So we're going to grab... 
Let me just tab over to our tractors here. We're going to take this guy. We're going to unload. Well, he can't hold too much, I guess. I kind of want to take the bigger trailer. How much is in here, straw-wise? A fair amount. You know what? We'll just take the small trailer. It'll be fine. Uh, so we're going to take this down to the store, and we're going to take out a little bit of a loan because I'm going to buy that pig feed in bulk. I'm going to buy those six pallets that I talked about at the beginning. Um, that way we can start feeding these pigs and get them to reproduce because right now they're, they're, they're only making slurry, and I think they're actually making manure too. Yeah, they're making manure and slurry. So I thought you needed to feed them to make manure, but I guess they make slurry automatically. Now that I'm remembering, they make slurry no matter what. And then if you feed them, they're obviously reproducing, but they'll make manure if you add straw. That's the thing you have to add for them to start making manure. Um, so where am I going with this? I don't need to bring the full trailer down there. Oh, guys, I'm a little disorganized today. I'm just, I'm very excited to play this game. I'm trying to slow myself down because I don't want to get like 50 episodes pre-recorded because I've been so excited playing. And then... Uh, all the comments are just kind of uh, null and void because it's just too far down the road. And again, we're going to do this kind of sketchily where most of it's going to dump on the ground, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll pick it up with a shovel later or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'll go load this up with... Uh, so again, too, if you buy pallets in-game, you should be able to just pull up next to them with a trailer and then hit R on PC to refill. Um, and then it'll load the contents of the pallets in here. We probably won't fit all the be able to fit everything that we're going to get in those pallets in here at one time. So um, I will drive this down to the store and I will be back with you. All right. So I loaded this up with pig food. So we bought six pallets and we have a full pallet and a, eh, like a half ish pallet. So we'll go ahead and close the cover on this guy and we will drive back down and feed our pigs. Very excited. Very, very, very excited. All right, guys, here we are. Let's go ahead and feed them. I hope it actually takes all of this because, uh, Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to take all of it. Because always we're going to be down a trailer until they heat enough to take all of it. But I think it'll, it'll take all of it. We'll see. That was a lot of pig food. We'll see how much that's going to... Okay, it's all unloaded. Let's go into our animals here. Pigs. And that'll go up here in a second. Um, oh, man. That's super low on food. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but, yeah, so it kind of evens it out when you put fig feed in there. Um, just kind of like that. So... Whew. We'll have to, yeah, that's going to be a lot of pig food. There's guys are going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of feed, but that's okay. Um, we probably still won't have to feed them again until tomorrow. So we'll probably order another set tomorrow. Hopefully we don't get hammered too hard by the, uh, by the interest, but, uh, for the loan, but we'll see. Cause I had to take out, I take out another $10,000 loan just to cover this. And I don't know why. Yeah. So I don't know why he, there we go. Okay. It's going back down. It's like, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, okay. We'll park him here, and then we'll check the menu. I'll give it a little bit, and then the productivity shirt going up. So we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to keep working on collecting uh, straw. We'll get this field cleared up so I can start working on getting this guy prepared for the next. Uh, do they need more straw? I guess we might as well go over here. Not a little bit. Need like 100 liters, so no big deal. Uh, so we'll keep collecting straw um, and get this field ready so we can hire someone. Uh, while we're collecting straw in the other fields to get this guy going. I'm trying to think of what we want to grow next. I'm not sure. What do we got here? Let me think. Could do oats, sweet, soy, anything really. Um, I don't know. We might just do another round of soy just to have something on there. Um, get something growing that's going to make us a little bit of cash and not have as much upkeep. Um, and then we'll focus on the silage and other stuff we have for income. Um, but yeah, just maybe something. Because honestly, it's just having something there so we can make some money off it as we're going. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to collect some straw. Um, and I'm probably going to... Let me see what the price is for straw in here. That should be hay, grass, straw. Straw is also terribly priced right now. We want to get around 70 or 80 bucks uh, for straw if it gets up that high. So what we're probably going to do is I'm just going to pile this up somewhere. Um, and honestly, that pile might just be right. I don't know. I'll pile it somewhere. It might be right there, though. Uh, so I'll figure that out. I'm going to keep collecting straw, and I'll be back with you uh, once I get some other stuff going. All right, guys. So I noticed after I was finishing up that field, I did pile the straw up over there, by the way. We'll go look at that in a second. But... Uh, 
as I was finishing up that field, this field became ready to harvest, so I'm going to unload the combine in our trailer here, and then we'll get this guy harvested, and that should be all of them. Um, and then after this guy gets going harvesting this, um, we will go get our direct drill seeder, since we know it's a direct drill. Now, actually, I don't think plowing's required. Let's make sure that uh, first before I say that. Um, I have to worry about... We're not going to worry about lime yet, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't really want to deal with it right now. But uh, plowing, no, nothing should need plowing except for this little weird section of field we created that uh, isn't ours. But <laughs> we're not going to worry about that. And I'll probably have to do the first row, if I remember correctly, on this field. Uh, since it thinks we don't own it. But uh, anyhow, we'll get that knocked out. Man, I got so many good police stories to share with you guys. I just... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to tell them all and then have nothing to talk about anymore. Just, I mean, honestly, the thing is, I always forget, you know, I'm like, um, some of these stories, you're like, wow, how would you forget that? But it's like, well, I, I deal with the, I deal with that stuff every day. That's what I do at work. So it's like, uh, a lot of the stuff, um, I just, they're you know, like, oh yeah, I guess that is kind of exciting uh, to talk about stuff like that. But, uh, and I also don't want to share like the dark stories. I want to, my, most of my stories to be funny. I mean, there's some, there's some, I believe there's some legitimately evil people out there that are out there doing uh, evil things, and uh, I don't really want to share. I mean, I guess I could share stories about us catching really, really hardcore bad guys that need to go to jail, but uh, yeah, there's just some stories I just don't want to share necessarily because they're, they're kind of dark, but uh, I, a, co a co-worker of mine, uh, this one I thought was kind of funny, so um, one of the things we go out and try to enforce is like DUI, so driving under the influence, uh, being intoxicated while driving, being high while driving, stuff like that. Um, so one of my coworkers uh, pulled this this girl over for, I don't even remember, I think it was something down like a brake light or something, just stopped her, let her, hey, no, your brake light was out. And as he was walking up to the car, she leaned out the window and said, officer, I am trying to sober up. And she was very, very intoxicated. I believe she was, uh, I believe her blood alcohol limit was like a point to something or other, uh, which is, which is fairly high. The legal limit in the state of Washington where I work is 0 0.08. So it was, uh, it was definitely above the legal limit. Um, I've arrested, uh, several DUIs and I continue to go out and try to find them. I mean, not right now. They're kind of hard to find, uh, just cause everyone's staying at home. Um, because everything going on, but, uh, yeah, I thought you guys would think that was kind of funny. Some of the stuff people say to us is, uh, is really, really, really entertaining. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff people have said. Oh, I'll have to think of some of it. Maybe I'll think of something else to tell, but, uh, no, people uh, say really funny things. Um, I've had intoxicated people that, uh, lied about their names and stuff. Um, so one of the crimes we enforce, uh, since we are a college town is, uh, like MIP and stuff like that, which isn't really, I mean, uh, oh, by the way, if you don't know what MIP is, um, if you're watching from uh, anywhere else or you just have never heard that, that's minor in possession of alcohol. So in the United States, and well, at least in Washington here in the United States, uh, the legal drinking age is 21 years old. Um, so there's a lot of obvious, obviously there's probably quite a few underage people that are coming to college at age 18, 19, 20, um, and then they're they're drinking alcohol here, uh, which is illegal. I mean, we don't, we don't like hammer them and throw them in jail unless they're unless they need that to learn a lesson, but even then they usually don't get in any trouble. We have what's called a diversion program where I work. So uh, the first time you get arrested or caught MIP, um, you just go through a diversion program. It essentially just has you go through a class and pay like a little fee or whatever. Um, and then you don't get like a, anything on your record or anything like that. And even having said that, even if you did have like an MIP on your record, it's not a big deal. We have a police officer that works for us that was arrested three times for MIP when he was in college. Now, given he didn't like immediately go from getting arrested three times to becoming a police officer, but it just, I mean, we're all humans. We all make mistakes. Honestly, 90% of the people I arrest are just, uh, they made a mistake. It happens. Um, the other 10% of the people that actually need to be, um, need to be arrested and, and learn a lesson that way. But sometimes it's just like, yeah, it is what it is. You messed up even DUIs and stuff. It's like, yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, defense for you going out and driving drunk cause you could kill someone. Right. Um, but again, they thought they were okay to drive. And I actually truly believe that a lot of times drunk people aren't the best liars and they usually just kind of tell you the way it is. Um, but, uh, anyhow, everyone makes mistakes. It happens. People are people, you know, but, uh, 
it is what it is. So I usually try to just kind of treat people right. I have a lot of people that say thank you after I arrest them or after I give them a ticket just because I treated them like they're a human being. I think that's kind of a, a key part to my job is um, I'm not better than anyone else. Honestly, me just going to work as a police officer. Yeah, my job's a little bit different than some people's. But if I went to like someone who was a welder or, you know, something like that, I'd be like, yeah, this is completely out of my realm here. So, um, yeah, it just kind of depends. You know, everyone does something a little bit different and does stuff different. But uh, yeah, so let me just show you here. We Actually, before we keep going, so this guy, we're going to collect the straw off, And let me go show you. I think I would just... I got distracted when I was talking. I don't even know why I came over here to get the truck. But uh, what we need to do is hop in our tractor over here and then start. Oh, actually, no, that's not what we need to do. We need to get someone planting this. That's what we need to do. And I think we're going to do soy. So we'll go ahead and throw some soy down. It doesn't need plowing. Um, so I'm going to go get this tractor hooked up. We can leave the trailer out here. Um, we'll get this tractor hooked up to the, the seed drill and get them working on that so we can get that thing growing. Um, that way tomorrow, well, we probably won't be harvesting tomorrow since it's kind of late in the afternoon. But if we get everything planted today before we head to bed, uh, that'd be fantastic for us. But first, before we get going, let's go look at our pigs. Look at this. Every three hours and 45 minutes, we're getting a new pig, which essentially is $1,000. Well, 900 for us because we're going to pay $100 to uh, have it delivered. But uh, yeah, that's fantastic. We're starting to get a little bit of slurry. Nowhere near what we'd need to do a field. Like that would do like... Um, a hundredth of a field uh, maybe so uh, nowhere near what we need there but productivity is 99 percent and the reason it's 99 percent is because well there's a little bit of, of dirt out there so we'll get that once it gets down probably in the 50 percent area we'll clean it up but uh yeah and we'll try that broom out uh, probably today what we're probably going to do is let the pigs just keep reproducing um until they get up to i want to get up to like 80 and then the production rate should probably be i mean it should be double that theoretically speaking um so it should be like you know, hour 45 minutes to two hours per pig, which um, over the course of 24 hours, if we're looking at that, it's 12, essentially $12,000 a day almost. Uh, well, minus delivery fees. We're looking at like 11000 or not 11000 $10,800 if I'm doing my math correct um, ish. So, um, which is, that's good. That's fantastic income um, in a day for that thing right there. Plus we're getting the free fertilizer. So a uh, really good idea. Again, this was uh, Thani One's idea, one of my subscribers to go ahead and start doing pigs. So I'm really happy we did. Um, and after we get some cash flow and we pay off our loan, um, what we'll probably do is start doing some cows. Uh, we'll need more land at that point. So it might be a few episodes before we get going on cows, but I think pigs are definitely a good start to get us into the animal realm. Um, so that, that's definitely a good call. I'm, I'm really excited we did that. Originally, I wasn't planning on doing animals on this gameplay series, but then I started uh, Sandy Bay 19. I was like, well, I really don't want to do animals here on Seasons, uh, at least not yet. So I think it is a good idea just to kind of mix up the gameplays a little bit and get uh, a lot of stuff going. So this uh, this gameplay series is probably going to go for a while because we're probably going to get almost into everything. We might even grow, you know, I don't know, we might do sugar cane and sugar beets and potatoes later or uh, start doing silage with like a forage harvester and growing corn. But uh, kind of the possibilities are kind of endless. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's really easy for us to, to really expand this area. There's so much land out here. Um, so we can kind of just do what we want with what we have. Um, and if we get tired of cutting down trees and we don't really need the money, we might just buy like a, uh, there's a, it's $180,000 a piece of equipment, but there's a mod. It's like, it's like the lizard mulcher and it's like this little bulldozer looking thing that has a big mulch on the front that just deletes trees. It just drives right over them and just chips them up into nothing. So we might end up getting that, um, or leasing it occasionally if we need to clear out like a space of trees or something like that. But I think in general, we're probably just only going to be taking out like small trees that are out middle of fields and stuff like that. We can do that by hand without any problems. So um, yeah, well, uh, I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to get this guy, not canola, we want to do soy. There we go. Um, so I'll hire this guy out here, and I will keep harvesting, keep collecting straw, and our pigs are going to keep doing what they do, which is give us money, essentially, and free fertilizer. So, And I'm going to try, so I don't have to uh, do it as much. I'm going to try to lower down where we're seeding, so hopefully we can just have the harvester go right away. I just want to see kind of where that line is. So kind of a little experiment. Yeah, it won't get as much yield, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep uh, keep going here. We're already probably mm, two thirds ish of the way through this episode, so um, we'll see what we get done by the end of the. I, it might even just end at the end of the day today, but uh, we'll see. We'll keep going. I'm probably gonna go pick up the rest of our pig feed um, and maybe buy another. Well, I can't buy. Darn it! I should have bought like eight pallets because I want to buy a minimum of six at a time. So we did, our last order was six, so it is what it is. But uh, so if you need to order more, we need to order at least six. But I think we'll be good. I think I'll just go pick up the rest of what we have, and that should at least give them over... Well, I don't know. They don't have a lot of food, though. So I don't know how much they're going to burn. So I may end up taking out a little bit more of a loan and getting us another six pallets. That way we can uh, 
we can really make sure they get fed because I'd hate for them to stop reproducing in the middle of the night because that just starts fast forwarding through our sleep. That's just easy money right there just coming in. So, um, and as they get more pigs, they're obviously going to burn through more food um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll keep going. I'll get some more work done for us. All right, folks, so just a quick update for you. It is 5.17 in-game, so it is starting to get a little later. Uh, but here is all the straw. Now, so we filled up the pig's pen, which they have, um, let me see here. They have almost 12,000 liters in there. I think we did put 12,000 in there to begin with. And then we have this, which is about four and a half of these trailers here I have in front of me. This is a 21,000 liter trailer. So we probably got 100,000 liters, which is insane, off of all of our fields. So even if we did sell, uh, well, I actually haven't looked at the, uh, the price yet, but even if we did go into sales here, and we sold the straw for 52 a piece, and that's we only probably have 90-ish thousand left, so I'll say we have 90,000. So let's see here. Um, we would get. We. Let me think here. If that's per thousand liters, we only get we only get five grand. <laughs> is that is my math right there? That's crazy. That's hardly any cash. That doesn't. Gosh, it almost doesn't seem right. Let me think here, because yeah, 90,000 liters would be the equivalent to around, let me think. Yeah, divided by 4,000, say it'd be 22 and a half bales, and each bale would only be worth like, what, 400 bucks? Not even that, it'd be worth like maybe 250-ish. Um well, maybe this isn't as exciting as I thought, but yeah. So we're not looking at a lot of money in straw, uh, but uh, anyhow, it's extra cash. I feel like it wasn't even worth picking up off the fields as little as we got for it, but this field's been planted. There's weed starting to pop up. That field's harvested. All the straw's off, so that's all the straw, and that guy's working on planting that field. Um, so we might just do, well, I'm going to try to get them all planted before I, I wrap us up here. Uh, for this episode, but yeah, park the milling machine here. If we go into pigs again, let's take a look. So we're getting, yeah, we already have 41 pigs. Look at that, guys! And our next one's coming up, coming up. So, um, and we're getting quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, and I didn't go pick up any more feed yet. So, um, I actually looking at it, I think we're gonna be okay. Um, because I mean, this stuff full is 10 days worth of feed. So I think that's that's plenty there. Uh, we're not burning through it very fast. Um, I might just go pick up what we have at the store, and that should be plenty for us. So maybe I'll take, uh, I'll take, well, I don't need this big of a trailer, but let me go, I need to go put that in the uh, silo anyway. So let's go, actually, what I'm going to do is we'll park this guy. Actually, I don't want to park him here, because I might actually do some mowing while I'm waiting for, uh, while I'm waiting, we'll park him right here, it's fine. He's just kind of out of the way, at least for now. So we'll hook up this guy, and then we'll go ahead and put, this is the last of our oats. Uh, from our harvest, so I'll go ahead and I, I parked the combine over where we said we would park it over in the uh, garage over there or the uh, old hail barn, hail barn, not hail barn, geez, old hay barn. Um, so that's where it is at right now. Um, but let's go ahead and dump this out. Yeah, you can see the combine over there in the distance. Fits in there perfect, uh, honestly, too. Uh, perfect. Yep, again, just kind of awkwardly off the side, most of it not making it in. And then we'll go look in the menu and see how much we actually got. Um, off of our fields and we'll do a quick calculation to see about how much that's worth right now we may not end up selling it right now um, but if we go into here oats are going to be back whoops if i can get the thing to move back over here so oats are right here so we have twenty thousand, just over twenty thousand liters so twenty thousand eighteen liters which is fantastic um, at 659 which isn't great um, we'll see what that would end up getting us so 20 times essentially six uh, five nine. We're looking at thirteen grand. So plus the straw, we're at we're at almost twenty thousand for the harvest, but we'll get a better price for that. I'm hoping we get that up to seven or eight hundred bucks before we sell it. Um, so yeah, prices seem pretty low actually for a lot of stuff right now. Corn's actually got a decent price, but uh, cotton that'd be fun to do some cotton. Maybe we'll do some cotton at some point. Uh, eggs got a good price on them. Milk, boy, I'd love to get some cows and get some milk going. I think that's that would be great to have that extra income coming in. Um, and TMR chaff. I'll say if grass was worth worth less than chaff, then theoretically you could dump the grass into a into a silage bunker, then pick it up again. Because once it goes into the silage bunker, it reads it as chaff, which is kind of funny. Um, and then you could pick it up and sell it as chaff, I guess, in this game. 
Um, but anyhow, but yeah, isn't that crazy how even if we did sell the solid for this price here, it's like we're taking stuff that's worth 69 bucks and we're making it worth 300 bucks for the same amount after we just let it sit overnight, essentially. So, um, yeah, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go get the rest of our pig food, and that should be enough for now. Um, yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll buy just a one big bag, which is only going to be $1,000. I'll buy one big bag just to make sure we got enough. So, yeah, let me go into the store. I'll just do that real quick. Um, I think that'll be fine. I'm probably being just over prepared, but that's okay. It's not, it's, it's expensive, but it's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's not that much more than buying it, um, individually. Um, since it'll be probably less for us to get this instead of taking out another loan and getting more interest, uh, backed up to do another order of the pallets there. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to pick that up and then I'll probably work on some, well, let's see what we have for grass growth. Um, if we go into the map here. Uh, we need to turn on the grass. Every time you unload the game, it takes that away. Um, okay, so this stuff is getting close to ready for harvest. And that, that's the stuff we just planted there. So uh, maybe what I'll do tonight, since this stuff won't be ready till tomorrow, we're not probably not going to cut this. We won't cut back here, but we'll probably cut this again. I'll cut now. All stuff will be good to cut there. I might cut this tonight, and um, well, I put straw there, and there's not really a lot of space with that rock there. Uh, so I might uh, cut, that's honestly all I can cut, really. I can probably get this over here, cut that and that, and that'll be about it. But uh, maybe I'll do that tonight just so it's done. And then, yeah, I don't really have anywhere to put it yet. But again, we can just throw the grass on the ground like we did with the straw because we have the milling machine. It can just pick it right up again. So um, that's the nice part about that. And then hopefully tomorrow, our goal tomorrow is to see if uh, we get a better price on silage so we can sell our silage. I really want to sell our silage for a better price than that. And then we're going to see if we can't get the uh, price for oats to go up so we can sell our harvest and then get some good money that way. And if not, it is what it is. Uh, we'll, we'll get some uh, soy coming next time, which will get us uh, probably a little bit more cash in our pocket. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to start trying to slowly pay back how much we owe. We owe the bank $160,000, so we're going to slowly pay that back. And I'll let you guys know too, um, either if we go overnight in this episode, but probably not. It'll probably be next episode. In episode eight, I'll let you know how much we got dinged for interest here. So um, I'll let you know um, about that as well. What do we got? We're paying a lot out in wages too with all the people we're hiring, which is that it doesn't seem like a lot when it's just slowly draining your cash. But when you look in here, it's like, okay, yeah, that's actually quite a bit of cash. Um, yesterday, we didn't really hire anyone, it looks like, but. Uh, so yeah, that's all we got going for our, our uh, farm right now. Yeah, there's a lot of red in there. I wish these things showed up green so it make you it made you feel better about yourself. Looks like you're actually making some money. Sold wood. We actually got a lot of cash off of the wood, which is kind of surprising. Maybe we'll cut down some more trees. Um, I might do that because I wanted to thin out the trees a little more anyway. So, uh, well, I'm actually I'm scared to do that because of the uh, the update that's coming in. Um, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If it updates and gets all those trees up there, I'm probably gonna use the government subsidy mod, put in a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, buy that lizard thing, take all the other stuff out, and then just go park the lizard thing at the store in case anything weird like that happens again, um, and we'll just have it there. Um, so, and then use that probably that extra twenty thousand dollars that'll be on the annex. I think the lizard's one eighty, so use that extra twenty thousand dollars to build a town. I really want to build a town. I actually think that's what I'm going to do, but I also want to know you guys' opinion before I commit to it. So I'm going to wait until at least episode. Uh, six is where I first mention it. I'm gonna wait until that episode goes out and then um, I'm gonna wait to hear your guys' feedback on that. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up to the store, get the pig feed and work on grass and that'll be honestly it today. Maybe I'll clean the pigs. Uh, maybe we'll go pick up the other equipment we have up here as well, like the uh, shovel uh, for the front loader and for in the, in the broom for the front loader and test out the broom. I think I wanna do that too before we end. So um, it may be a little dark, but we'll, uh, We'll try it out, but that's what we got going on, guys. All right, right before this guy could finish that field, he had literally half a strip left or something like that. Uh, he needed more seeds. Oh, it's loading from the bottom pallet. That might be a little weird, but that's all right. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll might as well load him up with fertilizer while we're here. Uh, once we get this guy unloaded, it'll be nice to have this pallet back. Or not this pallet, excuse me, this trailer back. But yeah, that guy's unloaded for the bottom too. Oh well, is what it is. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's. Uh, I might as well just do this myself. Not much left, huh? But yeah, this guy will be done to go, and that'll be two fields, and then probably after I conclude the episode, but before I start the next one, I'll probably plant the other two fields just so they can grow overnight. I really don't want them to be too far off of each other. Um, so that'll be and then in the morning tomorrow we will have to fight probably a little bit to get them all uh, weeded and taken care of real quick um, just because they're all going to need 
weeding and fertilizing right away at the beginning so we'll need to get all that taken care of uh, pretty fast um, off the right off the bat so and I, I don't know why I came over to do this one next I should have done the one over there to keep in my little circle I'm doing but it's too late I'm committed um, <laughs> I'll and it wouldn't let me pick up that straw either because it's like I don't know it doesn't think we own it because it technically speaking probably is off our property but uh, all right so Perfect, and then we'll go, so I brought over the pig feed, so we'll run over there, and I think it's 4,650 liters more that I have available for us, um, which is a decent amount more, so that'll be that'll be good. How about, this thing's getting dirty, how dirty is that? Oh, 91, it looks, it looks way more dirty than it actually is. But uh, yeah, we'll dip this guy up here. Yeah, 4,650 liters, so um, that'll be a good increase for our, for our pen. And they should have plenty of food for the time being. And again, it's not like they're going to die if they run out of food. It's just, I want them to be as efficient as possible reproducing. So, is that... There's like a little bit left in the trailer that's like glitching out. That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyhow, we'll go take a look at the pigs real quick. So, yeah, they got plenty of stuff in here. Looks like that feeds us mostly corn, uh, which I guess makes sense. But uh, it'd make me, I don't know if I guess they, maybe they eat this faster, but it'd make me happier if they're all in line with each other. Um, if we really have to, we can add something in one of these categories to help catch up as we go. Um, but everything else is pretty good. Cleanliness is uh, close. We'll have another animal here pretty soon, actually, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go get... I think this is... Is this the one with the front loader attachment? Yeah, this is the, the front loader guy. So I'm going to go park our trailer here over... Um, yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It just kind of glitched out. Hopefully, once I exit out of here, save it, and reload, it'll uh, it'll be good to go. Where do I want to park this thing? Uh, right there-ish is fine. Um, let's go hook up to the front loader, and then I'll go pick up the uh, probably the bucket and the broom tonight. But I'm going to go pick up the broom first because I want to show you guys that, or test that with you guys here uh, watching, and I still want it to be somewhat light out. So, um, And I, have, I do have the fork on there, so that would be very pointless if I hauled the fork up there too uh, since we're not going to end up needing that for literally anything. Um, I don't know where to put this without losing it in the grass, so hopefully we can just uh, hope we don't lose it there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyhow, so I'll go pick that up, and then I'll be back with you once I'm uh, back here with that on the... Oops, once I'm back that on... Oh, geez, I can't talk. Uh, once I'm back here on the farm with the broom over by the pig so we can test that baby out. But, yeah. All right, folks, well, I have some sad news. As you see here, I have the bucket not the broom i could not get the broom to hook up to this thing so if we go into the store into front loaders i don't know what it is we have just issues with broom mods but uh, anyhow i had this one purchased first and then i leased this one afterwards so i tried both of these neither of them work they both say they work on the fc or the fz30 and the fc60 fc30 fc60 what do we own for a front loader we own this guy which is the fc30 we own this one this is the one we use so they didn't hook up so Again, just sad. I'll still leave that mod installed because, well, I'm assuming these guys are going to work. Uh, what are those capacities? 1250, 1550, 1850, 2150. And what's the one that we have? Ours is a 940. Oh, yeah. So those are all have a higher capacity. Um, so that might be nice to do that. Um, but, uh, and those all say they'll work on. Yeah, that's it's so disappointing. I can't believe it. Oh, man. But. I came up with a revolutionary idea that I have not tested yet to see if it'll work, but I'm going to test it now. So instead of using a bucket to clean up the pig pens, I'm wondering if we can use the miracle mod, the milling machine, to clean it up. So we're going to go hook up to that. Uh, planter's still planting that field there. Um, so we'll go hook up with this trailer here, and then we can just dump whatever we have directly back in. So I'm actually going to put... Um, we'll set this guy down. Just right here is fine. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter, but we'll set him down there. Perfect. And then we'll hook up to the trailer here, and then we'll go hook up to the milling machine. And then we will test my theory. 
and hopefully we get to end on a good note. If the Miracle Mod, my milling machine, saves us again in this game or helps us out in that way again, that will still be a good way to end, I think, on that note. So um, we'll go hook up to it. It's over here. Parked it near our ginormous pile of straw. Um, perfect. All right, we'll back up. And right over there. Sorry, I know it's a little dark. Try to light it up a little bit better, so... Okay. Lower it. Turn it on. Oh my gosh, it's working, guys! <laughs> oh man. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm almost in tears right now. Just so sad about the brooms, but then... Oh, that's beautiful. And then if we go into... Well, I didn't. I didn't clean them. Well, oh, actually, disregard. It has to take a second to update. Let's wait for it to update. It should update every 15 minutes on the clock. So um, we'll dump this in, and then it should be getting ready to update. Oh, don't want to hit things with it. We'll turn it off. Um, and then we should be able to go to this, and then we can unload that directly into... I know it looks like we're dumping it right back on the ground, but technically we're not. Uh, <laughs> all right, and then... Park this guy here. We'll hop out. It looks clean. Oh man, that's beautiful. I think it's just like a, an amazing vacuum cleaner. It's like your farm farm vacuum cleaner there. All right, it should be uploaded or updating soon. Um, oh, our pigs are awesome. I'm so excited we got pigs. I haven't done pigs in a while in Farming Simulator. Looks like we're getting, are we running low on straw? No, we got plenty of straw. There's just holes everywhere, but uh, we're getting lots more manure and lots more slurry. And we're gonna have another animal here soon. Probably by the time we finish the fields, I'll have another one. Uh, oop, I just hopped on top of my pig here all right look it up the corner it is 7 30 did it update 100 percent cleanliness beautiful 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 i could not be more happy well folks honestly that is probably gonna wrap up this episode i think we're getting pretty close to where we normally stop um so i'm gonna keep i'll have these fields planted before i go to bed tonight um and by bed tonight i mean bed in game and then i'll probably end up pre-recording the next episode as well just in case uh, my schedule, since it's kind of unpredictable, so I might just uh, get it pre-recorded as well. And then, if that's the case, then I mentioned the town in Episode 6. This is Episode 7. Then Episode 8, we wouldn't have a town yet, but Episode 9, we could do a town. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't matter when we do it if we end up doing that, because... Uh, it's going to be cool no matter when we do it, and it's not an emergency to get it going, even if we want to use it for, like, having a manure cell point and a slurry cell point and stuff like that. Um, it's not necessarily... Um, a big deal. So uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll honestly take the time to design that and I'll, I'll have a lot of fun doing that. Um, I'll probably put the time, um, I'll probably put the time down to one just real time while I design the town and add it and, you know, put it in and everything. And I'll write down all the expenses and everything so you know I'm not cheating money in and everything like that. And you can always verify all that, but I don't think you guys are worried about that. Um, but anyhow, so yeah, this has been Farmer Cop. This has been episode what I say seven of our gameplay series in no man's land so please again hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the like button on the video if you enjoyed if there's anything you want to see in future videos please like drop a comment down there um, below oh and I'm blocking our worker here but anyhow this has been farmer cop thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and have a good rest of your day